I want to do a quick video to run through the anatomy um, of the male reproductive system. This is a sagittal view. So from the side, we will go through these again when we look at sperm production and we'll go through the components in like order um, of how they come out of the body. So this I'm going to go through in a random order, um, actually starting with kind of most obvious. These are the structures of the male reproductive system that you should know with the caveat that we're gonna go into detail like on the testis, like the, the detail of what's inside there in the future. Okay, so first one structure that's not actually part of the reproductive system, um, this is the urinary bladder. Um, so we will do the urinary system in the, at the end of the semester. So kind of just wanna give you a sense of where that is. The other components here I'm going to do in a different color. These are the ones that are um, part of the reproductive system. I suppose actually if I'm labeling other things, um, this is the, the large intestine and the rectum here but um, pubic symphysis here. Okay, so reproductive system. Here is the penis. And a couple of important components that I wanna note now um, that are within the penis. One is this tissue here. There's a couple of different tissue types in the penis. Um, this one is called the corpus spongiosum. And it's my favorite one spongy, um, we'll see how that fills with blood to cause erection. The other part of the penis is a structure that goes all the way through and it has different names. So urethra, um, the urethra has different names as it contains different components. So it carries both sperm and urine. Um, I just want you to know this tube is called the urethra urethra orifice here um, all the way along. Besides this very back part here where it connects to the seminal vesicles, this is the ejaculatory duct. Okay, moving on, the next fairly obvious thing you probably already know about is the scrotum. which is the whole entire sac. The scrotum includes the testes. One is a testis and the epididymis that I really like to misspell. Epididymis. Nope, nope, emis. Epididymis. Okay. Um, then, we've got this tube going up all the way here. So this tube, the same one as this, this is all the vas deferens, also called the ductus deferens. It's going to carry sperm um, up and out. This is just the ampulla right here. And then we've got three different glands that are going to add fluids to our sperm um, before the exit of the body. And this is what I'll go through in order when we go through sperm production and release. We'll see more detail what these glands do. For now, this one with this big arrow pointed to here, um, this is the seminal vesicle. This little guy down here is the, has the big name, little guy, big name, Bulbo, urethral gland. That's a R-A-L. And then the last gland is this big one here. This is the prostate. Okay, so that's the male anatomy. We'll see how a little bit more about the function of each when we go through sperm production and maturation, and then movement, and the sperm are gonna move out of the vas deferens, pass all these glands and pick up stuff released from those glands, and then go out the urethra, um, and eventually out of the body, and how erection and ejaculation is involved with that. Okay, 
learning check here as much as you can. Remember those terms I just went over, word dump of those terms. There's 12 things I named, 12 anatomy components. Label if you want to for yourself, but for your homework, write them down, practice spelling, practice recall.